Here we'll be taking a look at limits. The concept of a limit is used to describe the value that a function approaches as the input approaches some value. So to give a real life example of this, air resistance prevents the velocity of a skydiver from increasing indefinitely. So in other words, after a certain amount of time, their velocity will be at its limit and not, will not increase further. So as time approaches a certain amount, the velocity at which the skydiver travels will approach a certain amount also. So to illustrate a limit in mathematics, we'll take a look at this function, 2x minus 1 over x. So that's represented by this curve here. So we can see as the x value gets bigger and bigger, the y value approaches 2. So you can see on the curve, as the x value increases, the y value approaches 2. So we can see clearly here also, as the x value increases, so from 100 to 1000 to 10,000, we can see the corresponding y value gets closer and closer to 2. So therefore you could say, as the x value gets bigger and bigger, the y value gets closer and closer to 2. So as x becomes extremely large, the value of f of x, which is the same thing as y, approaches 2. So if we go back to the graph, we can see that again. As the x value gets bigger and bigger, so it goes from 10 to 20 to 30, all the way up, we can see the y value is getting closer and closer to 2. So in this case, the limit of f of x as x approaches infinity, so that's as x gets extremely large, it's approaching infinity, the limit of f of x in this case is 2. So we write that as is shown at the bottom of the screen. So the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x so that's this function here, 2x minus 1 over x, is equal to 2. So what that means is, as x gets closer and closer to infinity, in other words, as it gets extremely large, the y value will approach 2. So we'll look at another example of a limit. So if we're asked to evaluate the limit as x approaches 3 of x squared plus 4, all we do is we sub for x with 3. So it's x approaching 3, so instead of x, we put in 3. 3 squared is 9, plus 4 is equal to 13. So the limit of x squared plus 4 as x approaches 3 is equal to 13. So what that means, you can see at the bottom of your screen, as the x value approaches 3, the corresponding y value approaches 13. So here we have the graph of the curve, x squared plus 4. So this curve is x squared plus 4. So we can see as x approaches 3, which is here, our corresponding y value will be 13, which is here. So we can see as x approaches 3, the corresponding y value will approach 13. A further simple example of this, the limit as x approaches 2 of x cubed minus 2, just sub for x with 2, we get 2 cubed minus 2, which is 8, minus 2, which is 6. So we can say as x approaches 2, so as the x value approaches 2, the corresponding y value approaches 6. So we can see it here on the curve. As the x value approaches 2, which is here, the corresponding y value will be 6. So as x approaches 2, the y value will approach 6.